Okay, in this part of our Combinator manual, we're going to be looking at these preflop custom ranges. Uh, this is basically a little list of uh, ranges that you can save. Uh, these persist over Combinator sessions, so you can quickly uh, get started uh, with an analysis with some pre-built ranges. So we have some just defaults in here that we can use as uh, the, just there as an example. So here, top 25%. When you click, these get added into the hand grid. Um, when I say added, I mean it doesn't remove what you have before. So let's say we started with, say, broadways, and then we added in all suited hands. You see the, the, the broadways still remain. If instead you wanted to uh, replace what's in the grid with one of these, uh, you could, for example, uh, let's say top 50% or top 25%, let's say, if you do replace, you see it'll remove some of the previous uh, the previous hands and just um, set it to what the custom range was there before. Um, so these defaults uh, aren't particularly useful. Um, they are there just to, to just kind of show things off. What you really want to do is start adding in your own ones. So uh, this is uh, you do that with these buttons here on the right and configure uh, the custom ranges you have set up. So let's say you know uh, I want to set up a kind of laggy button steel range limit hold and something like I don't know this will make some manual changes you know whatever okay so this is a range that I'm going to be using in lots of analysis so I'm just going to save this and we do that once we've created it in our grid we click plus and then we type in a name for it so I don't know laggy button steel limit hold them boom and then it just gets added there in the list and so then later on we can come along and boom you know just double click and and get started um, if we want to uh, remove any, we can just use this minus button. So, uh, you know, here's a picture of a house, uh, not particularly useful for Hold'em analysis. So we'll just click delete, yes, and there you go. Now it's just been removed from the list. Um, finally, we have this R, that's uh, just to rename things. So, um, you know, let's rename this one we created. Uh, there we go. So, all fairly simple. Um, just like the uh, rankings, these ranges are basically just text files. If you go into uh, open user folder and go into ranges, um, you can see all the text files here again. If we just open it up in, oh, excuse me, just open this up in Notepad, um, you can see that it's just a list of hands. So these text files can be shared with people, emailed, whatever, uh, backed up, and just stick them in your ranges folder, restart Combinator, and they'll be there. So, okay, that pretty much covers uh, the ranges. In the next video, we're just going to be looking at the suit selection. Thanks.